to the beginning. Okay? And you, again, as I say, with Jim, yeah. I want you to really start thinking, you know what, Sam, this is... You've got the inspector coming in, and, and it's like, he, he's... You know, they, they're going to close us down. That's what's going on in your mind, is this guy is dangerous. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with him. He's my friend, but... He's got addictions, and I'm getting worried about him. You know, is he really involved with all these things? Or, you know, so it's getting a bit worrying. Encounters is turning into some kind of den of iniquity. <laughs> okay, go for it. Right, Jim, is everything ready for next week tonight? All present and correct, Sam. What about you? Have you managed to sort out the uh, entertainment you all have? Got a couple of the records together. Girls. Good. Let's go. gorgeous. You need to be Sam Martin. I'm sorry, but you're a natural. You always have been natural. Always been a natural for Sam. Fine. Here comes right, Jim. And here comes the young man himself. Right. So right, Nick. Nick, Nick looking, walks in. Looking forward to your big night. Never you turn your back to the audience. When you walk in, this is the audience. Yeah. No, no, this is... Never turn your back on the audience. I'm always going to tell you, unless I actually tell you to. You've got to turn around, make sure that you either go sideways. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay, where were we? We'll go from the, your entrance again. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, he walked off. Jim, fine, here comes the young man fine. himself. Here comes the young man himself. All right, Nick, looking forward to your big night before you go to become all that you can be. I don't want it to get out of hand, though. Big day tomorrow, and anyway, Amy would kill me if I did anything that I shouldn't. Sam, Sam, all above board, all eh? All above board, eh, Jim? Mm. Hang on a minute. Uh, okay, Sam yet again starts smooching over the farm, <coughs> makes an okay gesture to Jim, i.e. to say it's all sorted for the night, right? Right, Jim is like comes over to him and says, Jim, right, come over to him, right. come over to him, yeah. You see some kind of pimp. Do some kind of pimp, Sam. <laughs> God, you're putting my business at risk. I give up. So what are you having to drink, Nick? On the house. Vlad, I need you to speak louder. Oh. Can't hear you. Sorry. Just but I'm going to keep telling you to project. Yeah. And Martin, you're blocking him. Sorry, yeah. Sam, you're blocking him. Yeah. Right. So, Thank you. Just the here, Jim. Really. I need to be sold tomorrow. But I really need to speak to Amy first. So, see you later. Okay, so he goes off. I let your hair down. That is why you've still got some, eh, man? Because it's like, you know, when you get in the army, they're going to cut all your hair off. Okay. Right, the lights go down on the boys and up on the other side of the aisle. Right, okay, you guys go off. Amy is walking up to this. Oh, no, sorry, you're still there in the bar. But Amy will come on from the audience. She's walking up the stage, okay? Right, the lights go down the, up on the other side. Amy is walking up to the stage. What she does is she's cleansing the auras of the audience. So you're up, just look at the audience and just start cleansing their auras. And, <laughs> okay. When she gets to the stage, she starts listening carefully around, like, you know, where's the best vibrations of the earth? You know, I actually believe in all of this stuff, you know, so I, um, I do. She takes a dowsing stick out of her bag and goes around to the bar. 
looking for her best space. Everything in the bar looks as if, at her, as if everybody looks at her as if she's mad, apart from Jim and the girls who are used to it. So Chorus and anybody else who's there just looks at her. What the hell is she up to? Right. Amy, you really ought to do something about the vibes in this place. She then finds a place on the floor, sits down in a yoga position, and starts to meditate in the middle of the, yeah, <laughs> wherever. Jim, would you like, uh, he's kind of saying, trying to do his best. He's he, obviously gin and tonic. He's not going to have a gin and tonic. But. Would you like a nice gin and tonic, Amy? Oh, shh, can't you see that I'm in my sacred place, Jim? And anyway, what's wrong with you? Don't you realise that alcohol will mess up my oversensitive solar plex? Plexus? Solar plexus? That has completely gone out of balance because of Nick's betrayal. And she starts to cry. <laughs> right. Sharon come, goes up to Amy, sits near her. Why, Amy, that rat hasn't gone and found himself another woman, has he? No, Sharon, it's much worse than that. Well, he's only gone and joined the filthy army. He was only knows how I feel. Why has he betrayed me and left me to die alone in the woods? And by the way, do you mind... Okay, there's a pause, okay? He's betrayed me and I feel all out of sorts. Oh, do you mind stopping puffing that? Okay, so you take a bit of a breath there. I feel all out of sorts. Oh, by the way, you know, so I take a pause after all of so out of sorts. I feel all out of sorts. And by the way, do you mind not puffing that filthy filthy thing? Sharon goes to hit her. <laughs> she was like, yeah, oh my God, right. Ladies, ladies. Ladies, ladies, now, come on. We can't have any of, yeah. we can't have any of this here now, can we now? Amy, surely you can see beyond your beliefs and go and see Nick off. You may regret it if you don't. I can't, Jim. I've asked the tarot cards and called on all of the corners of the spirits and they have all said the same thing. And it's not the right thing for me to do. You it's complicated. You're a head case, you know. Look, please leave it out, Sharon. I can see that I won't get any space or spirituality in this place. So it's better if I leave my outside. At least, at least I'll be able to breathe fresh air. Amy, go just outside. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just go off, yeah. Amy goes outside to the air by the garden. There'll be like a little area where people may be able to sit like in a garden with a bench. So we might have it over here. Okay. Amy goes outside the area by the garden, sits down on a mat and starts to meditate. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you put yourself into your whatever position. We, should, we, we will work on that. Anything that looks ridiculous with, obviously with your back to, to everybody, so him in particular. And, and just start, you know, trying to do something, like maybe put your leg behind your head, or so obviously you're not wearing the right clothes at the moment, but. <laughs> okay, right. Um, okay, Nick. Yeah. Amy, please listen to me. Yeah, but uh, what about the narrator's Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Amy goes outside. Du, 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 du. And then Nick comes after. He seems worse for wear. Obviously, he's had a few drinks to pluck up courage. Amy, please. What are you doing? Stop. Okay, before you come on, before you come on, I want you to go behind the bar and just take a bottle of whiskey and swig it. Okay? So you, to give you some courage. And Jim is like... Kind of, this is getting out of control. You've got to be on the bar all the time. Right. But you've just happened to be cleaning a table or something, and it's like, what the hell? He's getting out of, this is getting Shall out of control. I show a little bit of being A little drunk. Yes, yes. Because I don't want to hold yeah, because, yeah. yeah. 
But I, I also want you to, so Jim is watching you, and before he can't get you, while you're probably having all of this going on with Sam, mm. you will go behind the bar and start testing some of the drinks, yeah. okay? So you're testing some of the drinks because you're going to have a night out. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you write that down in, in your directions? Yeah. You're testing some of the drinks. And Jim is like, oh, my God, you know, we're going to close me down. What? But you're talking to Sam. Okay, can we just do that quickly? Yeah. Sorry, Amy. So this is while they're Sorry, em while Emily. Still talking yes. To can I have you back? Uh, I want to see how this works. Okay, so we're going to go back a little bit to the bit with um, when Nick comes on. You've got Sam. Nick says, just the beer, Jim. I need to be sober. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to be sober for tomorrow, but not for now. I really need to speak to Amy first. Okay, so go back to the bit. Nick comes on, okay? Let's see how it works. Okay, I don't want it to get... Okay, Jim, fine. Here comes a young man himself. So Nick walks on. No. So you're not here at the moment. <laughs> you're not on yet. I just... As I say, this is like a workshop thing. If there's things I want, we think could be better... Uh, mind you, as I direct, I'll probably get things changed. I'll probably write another song for Amy, by the way. I'm thinking of writing a song about grief oh. in Act 2, because I haven't got one yet. And I think there should be a song about grief, and Amy would sing that, because she thinks she's lost him. And that would be when it becomes, uh, you know, the community thing, therapeutic community. Okay, then. Right. <clears throat> so, where are we? Uh, okay. Uh, here comes the young man himself. All right, Nick? Here comes a young man himself. Right, Nick? Looking forward to your big night before you go to become all that you can be? Yeah, but I don't want it to get out of hand. Uh, big day tomorrow. And by the way, Amy will kill me if I do something that's not right. And then you kind of think about, okay, then you guys keep carry on talking. And Sam says, ah, let your hair down. So he's the first one. Give him a drink. So Jim gives him a drink. Just a beer, Jim. Martin, Sam, yeah. are you, can you come over here? So you're, you're in it. You're over oh, here. He's in yeah. the middle. And you say, ah, just have a beer. Just go over, you know. And you say, come on, just a beer, Jim. Really. Let your hair down while you've still got some, eh, man? Oh, hang on. There's not a lot of time here for Nick. I tell you what, I don't want you to come on. I want you to be on already behind the bar. Oh, okay. But he's right. out behind the bar. Yes. But he's saying, uh, here, here comes the young man himself. Yeah, well, we, we won't say that now. We say, uh, oh, he's, he, he's the young man himself. He's behind the bar. Instead of, here right, comes, so, here. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're behind the bar. You guys are talking. Yeah. You don't yeah. notice it. So come forward. Mm. You're behind the bar. Am I behind or not? No, you're, you're in front yeah. with Sam. Okay. And he's behind the bar testing the drinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's testing the drinks. Do you want to write that in your notes? And you're going to say, okay, so Carrie, do your conversation with Sam. Right on him. So you open the top? Yeah. Right, Jim, is there anything where you could speak to big life? Well, present and correct, Sam. What about you? Have you managed to sort out the uh, entertainment? Because you might have Sharon behind so there kind of helping you and giving you drinks as well. Sharon, somebody will be there with you. Young Nick won't know what has hit him. Between you and me, well, let's just say that we'll all be quite horny by the end of the night. Oh, so great news. Wow. <laughs> well, I hope it's kept under control. So, Sam, I'm going to have to have a chat with you about keeping a lower profile. I want young Nick to have a good send off, so I'll let it go for now. Right. I'm going to sow my wild oats. You know what I mean? Is that all you think about, Sam? Set, set, set. Yeah, well, actually, that and drink and other stuff. So give us a pint, eh, mate? Okay, so now, it, just before, when he says that, give us a pint, yeah. you look at him and he said, What the hell? You can see him, <laughs> uh, you know, just, just. Time to go. Time to go. stop it. He's drinking all your profits. Yeah. Okay, it's like oh god, oh, you're an addict, you know. 
But no. you try, you know it's his night out, and you know he's got, you want him to have fun as well. <laughs> so you probably yeah. put a few by the bar. Yeah. So it's not a huge thing, okay? Right. You're an addict. You're an addict, Sam, that's what I think. But you need to really get close and say, Sam, mm. I think you're an addict. You know, like really seriously, put your arm yeah. around him. It's like, I'm a bit worried about you, mate. You're an addict, Sam. That's, That's it. what I think. Addicted to everything. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> he walks off talking into the phone to a woman. Fine. Fine. Right. Fine. Here's the man himself. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Nick. And I actually go up to him and just take it away and say, what, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. You're drinking all my profits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So a bit of a conflict, but funny as well. Okay. And here's the young man himself. All right, Nick? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looking forward to your big night before you go to become all that you can be. Uh, yeah, I should say that it's Be very young, very yeah. young, remember? Today, you know, tomorrow and anyway. <laughs> but keep your voice loud, I need to hear you. You have to keep projecting. Because when you're on the stage, your voice has to be much louder. I know you'll have a mic, but you have to be louder. Right. And then Sam says, all above board, eh, Jim? <laughs> all, all above, above board, eh, Jim? And then does there a click like, yeah, Hello, wink. Make suggestion to Jim to say that it's all sorted for the night. Right. right, now it's kind of like, walk up to him again. It's like, yeah, well, boy, he's some kind of pimp, Jim. He's some kind of pimp, Sam. Sam? Sam. Right. Sam. Business, Jim. Risk. I give up. What are you having to drink, Nick? You, to drink? you may as well just have it all on the house. He's already having it all on the house anyway. Which is quite funny because everybody has seen you're drinking the profits. Hang on, don't. Let me show it to you. Remember again, these are your peers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Start to walk off. But then when he says something, you listen. Yeah, because he's like your peer. Let your hair down. That's why you still got some. Amen. At it. Yeah, good. The lights, okay, you go off now. Lights go down. On the other side of the aisle, Amy's walking up to the stage. She does this, she's cleansing the aura of the audience, so to speak. When she gets to the stage, she starts listening carefully to the sounds and the vibrations of the earth. And then she walks up to the bar, trying to find the best place to sit. She takes a dowsing stick out of her bag, goes around the bar looking for her best space. Everyone in the bar looks as if she's mad, apart from Jim and the girls who are used to it. Amy, you really ought. You really ought to do something about the vibes in She finds a place on the floor, sits down in a yoga position and starts to meditate. So probably closer to the audience. I'd say that when, you know, it takes you a while to douse and it's like you're looking at her thinking, for God's yeah. sake. I was wondering, actually I... go up to the bar. Do I speak to him from over there? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. You don't have to go up to the bar. Okay. I'd say just keep, you know, like, oh, I wonder if this is... They call it the sweet spot, don't they, yeah, sometimes? Yeah. Does that sound right? <laughs> Hmm, no, they like that vibration. Woo! And you could maybe jump and go, oh my God, I like that. That vibration. Okay. Uh, oh, that's it. Yes. And then she sits. <laughs> okay. So while I was saying to him about the, um, you really ought to do something about the vibes, am I still trying to find a place at yes. that point? Okay. Yeah, because you, you really ought to do something about the vibes in this place. You could look at the audience because they'll think you're talking, that'd be funny. Okay. The vibes of this place, you know, oh my God, look at them, kind of thing. Because they love that, they love it. It's, it's not a pantomime, obviously, but they, it's not boo, hiss and all that. But they do love that to be awesome. part of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you want me to do it that bit again? Yeah, thank you. You really ought to do something about the vibes in this place, Jim. I'm surprised that people even bothered to come in here. All these awful energies I'm picking up. 
Yeah, from the audience. That's very good. She then finds a place on the floor and sits down. Make a real meal of it. And even when you're sitting there, start to listen. You know, that. I wonder if there's anything here I shouldn't be here or not. Really, really put all of your attention into this because you cannot confront anything else. And then, yeah, you say, would you like a nice... You could stand over there. Yeah. Just shout at her. Just like, I better not go and upset her vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could start walking towards her, and then you could give him a look and say, no, no, oh. no, you're, you're getting in my vibe, all right? Don't want that. Okay. Well, would you like a nice, a kind of, you're not sure. Here. Would you like a nice gin and tonic, Amy? Oh, can't you see that I'm in my sacred place, Jim? Solar plexus. plexus. Hand, put your hand on your solar plexus. It's all so dramatic. Oh my God. Oh my God. Alcohol. It's going to mess up my solar plexus. I want you to be over dramatic. Totally over dramatic with this. So don't, you know, yes. <laughs> Actually, like, it's your little baby. My sensitive solar plexus. So you're right, solar plexus, kind of thing. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good. I want to make you as crazy as possible. Okay. Really, really crazy. Really crazy. So to the point that when she gets to the level where she, blows, she tells her true story, the audience will just love her because they'll understand what, what's wrong with her. Okay? Okay. Sharon goes up to Amy. Why, Amy? Well, she, Sharon, she wouldn't sit by you, but so, uh, that Ra hasn't gone and found himself another woman, has he? And you give her a look like, what the hell? Um, no, Sharon. It's much worse than that. Why, he's only gone and joined the filthy army. You know, he knows how I feel. Why, he's betrayed me, and I feel so out of sorts. And, oh, by the way, good, do good. You If you want to end up, look at her. Look at her. If you Please. want to end up compost, that's up to you. If you, you know. Want, want to end up compost for the environment, then that's fine with me. But don't shorten my lifespan on this planet. <laughs> ladies, ladies, yeah. now Good. come on, we can't have any of this here now, can we now? Amy, surely you can see beyond your beliefs. Go and see Nicole. You may regret it if you don't. I can't, Jim. Right.